real iron in there in oh, yeah. eatable format. <laughs> Everything in this room is eatable, even I am eatable. But that, my dear friends, is called cannibalism and it is in fact frowned upon in most societies. Except Beachy. Well, no. It's a Beachy. <laughs> this escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> back to the second semester, or for the new students joining us, for the first semester, welcome back to the freezing cold world of oh, Otterburn so cool. and Providence, Manitoba. My name is Rebecca, this is... Naaman. And we're both really cold today. Yes, it's cold, cold. Yeah. We're sacrificing our bodies for you guys. We are. We are fighting through to bring you the announcements <laughs> for this week, the first week of the semester. So, to start with, we have Pick of the Week. Pick of the week is something that started up last semester. You can take a picture either with your phone or a professional style camera and using the appropriate hashtags as found on the posters that you'll see about school, you can take a picture for this week, which is keeping warm in the winter. Are we doing one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Ready? Uh... Beautiful. Okay. okay, and our next announcement, Damon, would be... Okay, the uh, St. Vitale's uh, shuttle. And it's going to obviously St. Vitale and it's going on Fridays between the times of 5.30 at 9.45, but mm -hmm. instead of uh, last semester when it's running every week, it's going to run every two weeks now. So just hope that you guys are aware of that. And we do also have scholarship information. If you're looking into scholarships, you can apply before April 1st. So take a look for this poster around the school and you can get more information for that. Yes. And if you guys, uh, well, for the new students and also returning students, uh, there's academic orientation this mm -hmm. Wednesday, the 20th. Uh, between the times of 12.40 and 2.15, and it'd be in a lecture theater. And again, all first students are welcome, even all first starting students are welcome as well. And these are the topics, critical and creative engagement in the classroom, community, and in worship. So mm -hmm. uh, the speakers will be... Nameless, just kidding. Nameless. They're up here. It's yeah. Professor Val <laughs> and Professor Catherine yeah. Russ. Akinbolaji? I've yeah, never Akin had Balaji. her as a prof, so I've not learned to say her name yet. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Akinbolaji. Akin Akin Balaji? Yes. Cool. Okay. So. And that's required for first year students. Yes. Interesting. We also have Prof Creates coming up. That'll mm -hmm. be happening from January 28th to 29th. And Prof Creates is where a bunch of, you know, people mm -hmm. can show off their creativity mm -hmm. and submit things and just have them displayed. So that'll be happening from 11.30 a.m. on January 28th mm -hmm. until 4.30 p.m. on January 29th. Check out the poster for more details. So are we creative enough to do this? I don't know. You could be. I don't know I if I am. But I am? You, you are. I believe in your name. You can do it. You can create <laughs> as a Pravian. Goodness, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, so uh, moving on, we have the Young Adult Potluck, and it's becoming a Sunday, February 7th. Yes, so following the 11 a.m. contemporary service, you guys are encouraged to come, and also, again, it's a potluck, so you know, you can bring your own foods and everything, and it will be... It's in standby. Oh, it's in standby. It oh, is. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, it's not here. It's at Emmanuel uh, Evangelical Free Church uh, in Steinbeck. Oh, so yeah, so, so I don't send me. Yeah, this just need to yeah. read the poster's name, and so check out the posters okay. for more information, I folks. Think, I think I need to get your glasses, man. My glasses? Yeah. They're really weak. I need new ones. But we have an international worship festival coming up. You can have my old ones okay. once I get new ones. An international worship festival that is coming up. That'll be happening on Sunday, February 7th at Bethel Mennonite Church. This one's taking place in Winnipeg. So if you are interested in that, take a look at the posters. Got some more details for times and you can head on out, maybe carpool with some friends. Yeah. So students, have you guys want to ever serve your community and be a leader? Yeah. Well, uh, this is uh, great for you actually. So uh, we have um, applications for student leaders for next semester mm. coming up. So if you want to be an IA, an RA or on STUCO, then you can uh, submit your applications. You have to see uh, Miss Sarah Liger. Uh, Ligier, Ligier. That's how it yes. We're learning names today, guys. Yes, you know, it's a learning experience. <laughs> and you just have to see her, and if you're interested, you can apply, and then you will have to submit it uh, between. Or January 19th, it looks yes. like. Yes. So, but if you also want to be a senior, it has to be by uh, February 1st. Ah, two dates. So check the poster for more details on that. Yes. We also have a job opportunity coming up. This is paid employment mm -hmm. for the government of Canada, basically. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they're looking for enumerators. So yeah. you'd be going door to door looking for voters to uh, put on the list so you can apply online. Information is on the posters. It's a good job. Check guys. that out. Yeah, job's always good. We're students. Exactly. We need 
Cash money. Exactly. <laughs> School fee. But, okay guys, uh, finally, are you guys ready for sports? Yeah. Yes. So the women's volleyball game is happening January 20th at 7 p.m. The women's basketball game is at January 23rd at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And the guys game is also on January 23rd at 8 p.m. So. All right. Sports. sports. Yay. Yay. Cheer on those pilots. Yes. That's all the announcements we have for this week. However, we're still trying to figure out what the Meno stands for. Maybe you have a theory. Have a what theory. is your theory for this week? Well, seeing that Prob is going to start a science program. It is, yes. Um, you know, um, I think it could mean manganese nitrate. Manganese nitrate, a chemical yeah. compound. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Well, wow. this is possible, unfortunately, as the keeper of the knowledge for mm -hmm. what the Meno does stand for. Mm -hmm. That is incorrect. But could be appropriate. Next week you can try again, you know, figure it out. But for this week, this has been Magnes Nitrate, and thank you for joining us. We will see you next week. So cold. You're sacrificing your body for you, man. Oh my goodness, you're cold. <laughs> Yo, that's yeah. colder than me. What? No, what? no. I, my mom thinks I might be anemic. I had to go get a blood test. And they're Maybe testing all my iron. blood. I know. Iron. The, that's why apparently cucumbers Eat have iron. Eat this chair. Like, the, no, it, where's the iron? Eat this chair. I don't think that there's like real iron in there.